Hey everybody, Kyle Hamrick here for School of Motion and welcome to our first ever holiday special. Uh, that's a thing now, I guess. But uh, obviously, if we're going to do a holiday special, we're going to do it right, which means we've got Joey with us today. What's up, Joey? How's it going, Kyle? Uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, um, Happy Festivus. <laughs> All that stuff. Happy almost not 2020. Yeah, that's... <laughs> listen. <laughs> The real hero here is 2021, uh, you know, coming yeah. in at the last minute to save us. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, uh, very much so. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're really excited to be here today. And uh, we're excited for all of you in the chat. Um, love to see uh, all of you, like, uh, getting <laughs> uh, chatting it up today. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot to keep up with. Um, so feel free to uh, ask us any questions, I will say, but um, most of your interaction today is going to come more in the form of MoGraph trivia questions, which uh, we will be handling. Um, I am getting a note that Joey's volume is a little low, but uh, maybe you'll just have to shout. I don't know. Uh, I think we're past the point of being able to <laughs> tweak that very much. I'll talk louder. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, okay. So... Uh, Let's see. We are going to have, uh, we're going to spend a minute talking about the 12 days of MoGraph giveaways that we've been doing because we're doing the final one here on the show. We're going to be doing trivia. Um, and so in a minute here, we'll be dropping a link where you can sign up to be eligible to win those things because we'll be giving away t-shirts as part of that giveaway. Uh, so first, I want to just step through and thank all of our uh, sponsors for the giveaways that we've been doing. So let me boop do this. So um, we'll uh, drop a link in the chat here where you can see all the things we have given away. But uh, we want to give a big thanks to Grayscale Gorilla and Frame.io and Action VFX and Creator Vault, which is also from Action VFX and The Future and AE Scripts and AE Plugins and Pixel Lab and Maxon and Video Copilot, and Adobe, <laughs> and Wacom, which is actually the right way to say it, pro tip. Mm -hmm. And like I said, uh, Puget Systems will be our, uh, our giveaway today. Um, we have a $1,200 voucher towards um, a purchase at Puget Systems. So um, we'll get that link in the chat. And that link will sign you up not only for uh, the Puget giveaway, if you want to, there's a little toggle on there that you check yes, if you want to sign up for this, because obviously not everyone is, you know, wanting to buy a new computer today um, <clears throat> or soon. Uh, but you can also, uh, we're going to be doing trivia. And if you do the trivia, you will be signed up um, to be able to get one of our shirts by uh, getting the answer right. If you don't sign up on this form, and you answer the trivia question. Joey and I are gonna assume like, hey, you're the winner, great. But we won't have your email and we won't be able to get in touch with you. So please fill out the form if you want to, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you wanna win shirts. So um, I feel like that has been clarified. Uh, yeah, and hopefully that link is in the chat or about to be. Um, so I actually have a couple trivia questions that we can start off with, but um, before we dive into that, is you do you have just any like I don't know thoughts about this year as it doesn't pertain to school emotion? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the eternal question. I mean, I, yeah, you know, I was I was like kind of pondering this this morning, Kyle, and I think in spite of you know all of the bad things that this year mm -hmm. threw at everybody, um, I'm actually kind of at the end of the year feeling really really optimistic about you know, the future and mm -hmm. I'm really optimistic about specifically school of motion in the industry, but just in general, I have a much better feeling <laughs> right now than I did say in, um, I don't know, August or something like that, uh, or July mm -hmm. when I actually got COVID. So <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm Which fortunately you guys all stayed, uh, really, really healthy and, and didn't uh, have anything too bad happen from that, right? Yeah, yeah, it, was, it wasn't that bad. It was, I mean, it, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. It's not fun, but <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But, um, you know, fortunately we all got through it. Um, but yeah, so this year, you know, it's kind of one of those, hopefully what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, and definitely I think everybody knows a little bit better now what they're made of. And so as much as yeah. this year sucked in many ways, I think actually uh, 2021 is going to be, 
you know, assuming the vaccine <laughs> gets like pulled mm-hmm. out and all the, all of those things, uh, it's going to be a banger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 2021, it's going to be <laughs> yeah. There's some booting and some rallying. Let's put it that way. <laughs> this is tea, by the way. I'm not <laughs> no booting and rallying on the live stream. That's, you know, yeah. Or, or Kyle will cut away if that happens. But yeah, yeah. Ideally, <laughs> yeah. Um, or we'll catch it in slow mo instant replay. That would be better in 4K. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like, obviously, it was it was uh, a, a dark year in a lot of ways, but I think it also um, and uh, you know the the alumni holiday card that we're going to play later, I think touches on this. I think it also helps underscore like all the good things that, um, you know, people were kind of reminded of and things that, you know, a lot of people had kind of been taking for granted and a lot of opportunities to look for uh, people finding ways to help one another um, in, you know, ways that they'd maybe like kind of, you know, forgotten to do (laughs) sometimes. So um, yeah, good, you know, can be kind of a silver lining there uh, in some ways. So here, here. Cool. Um, okay. Well, I know that I personally dropped the link for the giveaway uh, into the chat. Um, so I see it's there. Uh, I will uh, just remind everyone, if you're not signed up on there, you will not get anything for answering these trivia questions. So please make sure you sign up. We'll try to drop it in here occasionally. We're going to kind of pepper these in. Um, so we'll make sure that it uh, comes back when it needs to. But um, let's see, I want to go ahead. Uh, we'll start off with an easy one. Some of these are pretty easy, but which 1982 song is widely be- believed to be Joey's favorite tune? This is a tough one. Mm. And if you were at Blend last year, uh, you you saw a probably pretty horrifying <laughs> rendition <laughs> of this. Horrifying is the kindest thing you could say about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, although if I have to get like thinking back to that mm-hmm. night, um, you know, I'd like to think, uh, you know, the, the best part of that performance for me was uh, finding myself with a microphone in a, in a room mm-hmm. full of people and I got to go, make some noise, <laughs> I always wanted to do, uh, you know, and then uh, Greg from Ordinary Folk, he really gave it his all. He, yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Uh, so I see Elliot Mosher uh, looks like the one who got it first. Um, are you folks seeing the link? Cause I have copy pasted it in here twice. So hopefully that has worked. Uh, but I'm going to make a note at least for the moment that Elliot Mosher got that first one. Nice. Um, so here, let me do that. Uh, hopefully that link works. Cause we have a lot of links that were, huh? That is weird. Um, let me, I'm going to take a second and just like make sure that links can get posted in here because that's going to be problematic. <laughs> problematic, like most of huh. 2020. <laughs> yeah. That's um, problematic. Yeah, there just won't be any way for us to contact you if uh, if we don't have the link. Um, hmm, interesting. Weird. Uh, it's a Google form, and I know that I put it in here. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I mean, I guess that it is. I, I wonder. Um, I'm looking at the chat too. Let me see if I can see it in there. Uh, yeah. Maybe Brittany, Brittany, when you see this, post the link. Because Brittany and I see Frank are moderators. So maybe. Yeah. Uh, you should be too, Kyle. Brittany, Brittany has has my uh, my little Milanote bit um, holding on to it there. Uh, so I assume. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if I can put it in the description. Let me let me try that real quick. Uh, give me just a second, folks. Sorry. There's, there's some Live TV, right? There's also a recommendation, Kyle, which would be smart. Yeah. You could um, just put the link on, on screen, uh, like share yeah. your screen and just show the link. Or something. Yeah, I can totally do that. It's just going to be clunky because it's like a big, long, it's like 20 random characters. I just added it to the um, to the description. But let me... Try this <laughs> here. Hang on. I'm going to uh, copy paste it. Oh, I can't copy paste it now because Brittany has the thing. Hang on. <laughs> Think it on the fly here, folks. Uh, give me just a second. Make it big enough. I'm going to see if I can turn my mic up too because I see a lot of okay, comments cool. that I'm, yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I, I crank this a little bit. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to paste this over into a Google Slides right now. Uh, 
so that I can <laughs> just post it on better? the screen. Is that any better, people? YouTube? Okay, the link the link is showing in the description. Yeah, is is Joey uh, better? Uh, if it's in the description, then you're good to go. Uh, Elliot, I, I noted that you, uh, <laughs> Brittany's saying she shared it 10 times. Um, so hopefully all the other links that I have ready for this uh, will show up better. But um, so look in the description because apparently it's there. Okay, great. So <laughs> now that we've uh, that gone through, our, hopefully that's <laughs> our only crisis today. Yeah. Um, okay, great. Joey's better also. Great. See, we got everything fixed. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to bring this back. We have another question here suggested by Joey. Which School of Motion tutorial has the most views on our YouTube channel? Yeah, this was really um, kind of a softball for mm -hmm. many reasons. Um, yeah. But I thought that, you know, this might be a nice way of giving somebody a gift uh, without having to buy them anything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see uh, Coco, whoever Coco is, has won this. Uh, it is indeed my tutorial, uh, my weirdo <laughs> tutorial about using the After Effects text animator to uh, <laughs> to make arrows and and tapered strokes and stuff like that. I love um, that that's I love that that's it, Kyle, because it's like such a geeky motion designer thing to very want much to do. <laughs> and and it, it's also funny too because when you make tutorials, you really have no idea like what's going to be yeah. popular, what's going to be useful to people. Um, you know, and I love that tutorial, but I never would have guessed. Oh, that's gonna get half. Me years, either. You know. <laughs> I, I sat on some of those ideas for literally years just because I thought it was so weird and esoteric that no one else would really care yeah. about it. Um, cool. Okay. Well, uh, speaking of School of Motion, you know, hey, we're here on a School of Motion stream. So, um, you know, we, uh, like we said, there, uh, you, you know, a lot of good stuff happened this year too. And uh, like a ton of really big stuff happened for School of Motion specifically. Um, so uh, I'm gonna put some more of these slides up and uh, we'll just kind of both talk through these. You can kind of say as much about some of the stuff as you want to. So sure. um, firstly, we, uh, we relaunched the site with like a total redesign here. Um, I don't know, do you wanna kind of speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I can kind of walk through these things. So uh, the site redesign, and it's crazy because it came out in January, but it feels like it came out 10 years ago <laughs> because, <laughs> because 2020. Um, but yeah, the, we, we actually did an entire rebrand last year with the help of Chris and his team at uh, The Future. Um, we might be the last client project uh, he, he's ever done. I, I don't know if he's done one since then. Um, and, uh, and then we worked with an, a design agency for the site called Unfold. Mm -hmm. uh, we had developers help us put it all together. We launched that in January. Um, and then fairly recently, we actually relaunched our uh, learning management system, which is the part mm -hmm. of the site that you see when you're a student. Um, so if you haven't taken a class, then you've never seen this before. But we have a pretty elaborate system of how our classes run. And it's all custom built to allow us to, you know, partner you up with a TA and have easy access to them and they can critique your work and then you can see everybody else's work. So that got totally redesigned and a lot of new features got added and we're continuing to fix bugs, uh, add features. Um, there's actually a feedback form now. Um, I think it's feedback.schoolofmotion.com. Um, Sounds right. Can, yeah, I think Brittany Something can, like can, <laughs> can, yeah, she can confirm or deny. Um, but yeah, so we're, there, we've been doing a ton of work, uh, on the site this year. So it's definitely been a big initiative. Mm -hmm. Cool. And, you know, obviously work like, uh, all of this doesn't happen, uh, just from one person. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of people that somehow are under the impression that you just do everything school of motion yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> while there have been a few, like, more visible, uh, like people that have come to School of Motion recently, um, like myself and, and Ryan Summers and EJ, uh, a lot of people probably don't realize how many people there are behind the scenes making this work. Um, and uh, we are actually now at 27 <laughs> full-time team members. And uh, as of this upcoming session, 50 part-time people, including all the TAs, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. When you say it like that, it's really weird to hear too, because the scale of it is just not, uh, it wasn't what I pictured it turning into <laughs> yeah. six years ago or however long, but um, it's amazing. Actually, that's my, that's my favorite part of this year has been 
growing the team. I mean, we have so much talent and, um, you know, they don't really get enough credit, uh, I think, because, yeah, you're right. There's some visible people that are on live streams mm -hmm. and doing tutorials and speaking and things like that. Um, but we've got, you know, a support team that's amazing, a marketing team that's amazing. We have this one of the big things we did this year was build an engineering team, um, mm -hmm. you know, because we do a lot of basically software development to, to enable everything to run. Um, and then we've beefed up our production team, making courses and some other new things that you'll hear about soon enough. But uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's really cool, um, you know, and I really feel like very fortunate to work with everybody. And I see, uh, we were talking about this yesterday, at the beginning of this year, it was 16 people and then 14 people because a couple people left and we basically doubled in size over the year. <laughs> Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> if you round yeah. up. Um, and honestly, you, uh, yeah, not just in people too. Um, technically, uh, I hadn't actually realized a couple of these until um, a conversation yesterday, but mm -hmm. there were a ton of new things launched this year too. Like VFX for Motion was technically launched this year. Uh, we had a, a beta session last year. Same thing with Expression Session was technically launched this year. Cinema 4D Ascent was new this year. Uh, our Level Up course from Ryan Summers was, uh, which is free by the way, and you should totally check it out, uh, is uh, launched this year. Design Kickstart launched this year, plus our scholarship application, um, which is kind of like a little mini course uh, launched this year. And uh, I think it counts to say that Lights, Camera, Render launched this year um, and will be available for this this coming session, but that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. pretty. It's wild what you can do when you have a bigger team. <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's like, it seems so logical and obvious, but it's actually not when you're in the middle of it and you're thinking, how can we make these classes faster? How can we beef up our curriculum faster? Um, and a lot of times, uh, you know, it's like scary to, to grow a team and to hire, um, especially in the middle of a pandemic, but, uh, but it was definitely the right move. We got more accomplished this year than probably every other year combined. <laughs> yeah, and it's pretty crazy. I mean, it seems like it. Um, uh, and I guess just kind of for some perspective here, uh, this is a trivia question just for Joey, but uh, he knows the answer. But um, obviously, <laughs> you guys can uh, totally guess too. So, when was the first session of Animation Boot Camp offered? Yeah. So, if you want to talk about the first session, you got to go back to November of 2014. Is anybody mm -hmm. on the live stream actually from that original group? There that were would be cool. um, there were 40 people uh, that went through it. Um, and I'm pretty, I can't remember if Noel was in that group or the next one, but Noel Honig was actually mm -hmm. uh, in, in one of those groups. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a long time ago. It was six years ago, which is eternal basically in the internet <laughs> years, you know? Yeah, seriously. Um, yeah, and, and to be clear, the class has been, it changed a lot after mm -hmm. the first launch, it got almost entirely re-recorded and reassembled. Um, but the class has been basically in the same form for about three years now. Mm -hmm. um, so we may, we may start updating it a little bit next year. Um, but yeah, that's still one of our most popular classes and it's really fun to see people go through it and you know see the ice sculptor at the end and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, rightly so. Um, so yeah, uh, it's kind of crazy to see you know, how far it has come in that amount of time, even though, like you said, in internet years, that's like forever. But here's a trivia question for all of you. How many session-based courses, and I'll clarify, that means like a course where you're in a group with everyone else and it's time released and you have a TA, how many session-based courses are now offered at School of Motion? I'm counting things that you can buy currently that you'll be able to take in the upcoming session. Um, it's probably more than, than you think. I actually, of course, had to go count. Uh, uh, and technically, you guys could go count, but that's going to take longer than probably just uh, guessing. Just throwing darts? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Anderson. He got Anderson. it. Anderson. Good job, Anderson. 14. Yeah, yeah. 14. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. And, and yeah, and, like, you know, Rigging Academy is the only class currently where it's there's no session you can take it yep. whenever you want and you don't get a teaching assistant and all the other things and then of course we've got our free classes um but yeah 14 different classes that all have teaching assistants and homework and yeah. student groups um it's pretty crazy and that's one of the reasons we we grew this year is you know even just sort of um the amount of students we're getting has grown mm -hmm. 
a lot. So, um, you know, and we're, we're, there's some cool things we'll be doing next year to help make, ev make everything smoother, um, both on our end, but also more importantly on the student's end. Yeah. And uh, just since I didn't uh, mention it there while these are up, so there's all 14 of these classes plus Rigging Academy, plus the Path to MoGraph, which is free, plus Level Up, which is free, plus our scholarship application, which is kind of like a little course. And especially if you're just getting started, there are some lessons on uh, design, on After Effects, and on 3D from me, me, and you um, that will give you enough to kind of complete the application uh, to apply for our beginner level courses. So um, I, I had a lot of fun making that stuff, and I think it's really cool that it's something that we're able to offer. So. Right on. Um, and uh, since we're talking about our courses, uh, I'll go ahead and give the, the closest thing to a sales pitch that we're going to do during this show. Um, which is that our winter session uh, starts on January 4th and registration is open now. So you can um, you can hop in and uh, you know sign up for those if you want. Uh, I wanted to point out that expression session and VFX promotion, uh, we have actually um, lowered the price on those a little bit for this upcoming session, as well as uh, for this session, if you um, sign up for character animation bootcamp, you actually get Rigging Academy for free, which is pretty cool. So uh, if you've been kind of thinking about any of those or any of the other ones, um, you should obviously go check those out. And uh, ideally, there's a link we should drop in the chat that takes you there and takes you to our quiz. But I guess links aren't working today. Thanks, YouTube. Um, <laughs> there's definitely links in the description to take you to that stuff. So. They're censoring us. You know? They are. <laughs> How dare they? Uh, OK. Um, well, uh, so I have a bunch more trivia questions teed up here, but is there anything else that you want to, I don't know, chit chat about first? I actually want to do the trivia. This is probably, yeah. like, I was, <laughs> we were, Kyle and I were talking before about this trivia idea and I was like, we should just do this every time. This is really fun. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely spent more time than I probably should have, like <laughs> thinking about what are the best questions and the best way to format them and all this. But um, yeah, uh, I... Okay, so just a reminder, in case anyone has joined us uh, more recently, there is a link in the description, should be the very first thing, which is a Google form. And you need to be signed up on that uh, if you want to win the t-shirts that were given away as part of answering these trivia questions. It's just the first person who gets it, but you have to be signed up so that we have your email to contact you. If we don't, then we're not gonna be able to get in touch with you and you'll just get um, meaningless internet points for winning. <laughs> so. Right. Um, all right, let's do some of these. I wanted to give uh, some love to some of our sponsors. And a lot of these people are our friends too that I'm super looking forward to getting to hang out with in <laughs> physical space again uh, at right. some point, hopefully next year. That'll be really great. Um, so is everyone ready for trivia? Yes, I hope so. Okay, some of these are easy. Some of them are gonna be uh, more hardcore. So this person originally started Grayscale Gorilla as a personal photo blog and is still the company's owner today. I'm curious about this one, Kyle, because yesterday when you showed it to me, I was like, is that one too easy? Like, it, but mm -hmm. I'm curious, we'll see how quickly, uh, how quickly the answer pops up in the chat. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to Mikhail here. Uh, Mikhail Sobolev, uh, didn't use the last name, but uh, got it right. It's Nick, Nick Campbell. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty easy one. Um, <laughs> As a bonus, like does any does anyone know the original uh, the catchphrase of Grayscale Gorilla? Oh. Nick would say at the beginning. If you know mm. that, type that into yeah. I've got that yeah. somewhere in my brain. We'll see if uh, <laughs> someone <laughs> Jake guessed Brian Cranston, which is also a really good uh, close. Guess. <laughs> it's pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, what? Uh, I'm the gorilla. Yeah, it was. It's I'm the gorilla. I'm yeah. the gorilla. Yeah, and then for a while it was uh, We're the Gorilla, I think he said a couple of mm -hmm. times. Um, well, that when, makes uh, sense. Yeah, when Chris came on. Um, yeah, you know, nostalgia. So that's <laughs> what this time of year is for, you know? And that's another case of where uh, I was kind of surprised. Um, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago at NAB. I was like super done at the end of one of the days. And I was like, I'm just going to go back to my hotel for a while. And I ran into EJ and Nick and the, the rest of the GSG team. And they're like, we're going out for beer. I was like, well, obviously that's what I'm doing then. Yep. <laughs> and it was like, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how much of that was just like an entourage, but uh, it was like 12 people or something. I was <laughs> surprised how many people were uh, involved in, in some way there. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure if it's I'm, that many right now, but. 
Yeah, and I'm looking forward to that again, very much so. Mm-hmm. Being, you know, being sucked yeah. into drinking more beer in Vegas. <laughs> it's a tough gig, yeah. you know it is, but you know, I do my part. Yeah. Um, yeah. Speaking of those types of folks, uh, so this one might be a little more old school. Uh, uh, definitely for people that have uh, been around watching motion design tutorials for a while here. Which friend of, uh, looking for a person's name here, which friend of Andrew Kramer often appeared in video co-pilot tutorials, usually shown being killed or injured in ways that lend themselves to cool VFX techniques? Boom. Michael yeah. Slavsky, uh, quick on the trigger there. Awesome. My goodness. My yeah. goodness. Sam Loya. Uh, he has been uh, struck by lightning, which exploded him. He's been disintegrated. He's had stuff crawling under his skin. He's been a demon. Um, He's been hit by a car, uh, but he does get to magically heal in one of them too. So that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he's famous in a very strange <laughs> niche way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, that kind of weird YouTube fame that only exists in uh, like motion design and yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe like web development or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am seeing a couple of actual questions uh, in here. So um, uh, there's one that I wanted to uh, answer, which is do alumni uh, of a class get to see updates to the courses since you kind of mentioned, you know, maybe doing that? And the answer is yes. Um, If you if you buy one of the courses, you do um, you have access to your TA and your your group while the course is going. But then you have uh, access to the course videos forever. So um, just to clarify that for anyone who's wondering. Yeah, if you go to if you go to our site, um, you know, and you've never taken a class, there's a little uh, sort of graduation cap looking icon <laughs> up in the corner. And if you click on that, um, and you and you've signed up for any class, it shows up there. And then you can click on it and go to that mm-hmm. that class. Um, but if, uh, you know, and, and like Kyle said, really, like the the 12 weeks and the eight weeks and the nine weeks, you know, different lengths of classes, but that refers to your teaching assistant being available to you and the the student groups being available to you but the content uh and you know like all of the files you can download and all of that stuff all of that is available Mm -hmm. as long as the internet exists i guess (laughs) oh um i'm seeing from the chat that some of you aren't even hearing us say the thing before you get a chance to answer uh sorry i guess you're further away um if i had the power to control space and time there's a lot of things i would probably do with that uh, so, <laughs> um, I wish you better luck on the upcoming questions. <laughs> Which are um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if this one's harder. I feel like this one's, uh, easy, but I've also been around this space for a long time. Uh, who started AE scripts and AE plugins and, uh, bonus trivia. Uh, this person was originally slated to become a doctor. Am I remembering right? Oh my gosh! I don't know. I don't know if I knew that. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me though. Yeah, it looks very, like Rodrigo got it. Very it's smart. Oh yeah, Lloyd. Yeah, Lloyd, my man, yeah. Lloyd. Yeah, wrote many of the original uh, script products himself, like uh, Magnum and uh, the marker batch edit uh, function, and uh, a lot of other really useful things. Yeah, and he's also got this weirdly OCD encyclopedic knowledge of high-end espresso machines he's <laughs> de- like a coffee nut but like he knows the brands that you, you know like oh you don't want this one because the water gets too hot it's really yeah it's a fascinating guy <laughs> yeah he's a super smart dude yeah. um as yeah, not surprisingly as most of the people that uh you know come to prominence of some kind in this <laughs> industry are <laughs> and some are just bald kyle <laughs> true mm. um Okay, uh, here we have a question from EJ. (laughs) I reformatted it to make it a little easier. Uh, Originally introduced as a module in Cinema 4D 8.5, which was way back in 2003. This allows for a flat shaded look that is probably EJ's favorite style or maybe most used style. Hmm, the hats and pants style. Mm, Sharon, you're so close, so close. Sketch and tune. Yeah, Mikhail, looks like. There you go. <clears throat> Sketch and tune. And this is one of EJ's little gifts here. 
Um, all right, so we did some Cinema 4D trivia. How about some After Effects trivia? Let's um, do it. Can we can we buy that GIF on? Uh, you know, is that going to be a crypto? Art? <laughs> yeah, that will be uh, forty seven million dollars, please. <laughs> I was say, yeah, you can buy that for forty seven thousand dollars right now. <laughs> uh, all right, this one's probably pretty easy. Uh, what animal do you hear when your render fails in After Effects? And there's technically a couple acceptable answers here. We'll see if anyone gets the real, real right. answer. Yeah. Screaming artist. I'll give it to yeah. Marco. Marco <laughs> Vanderlag here uh, said goat. So really, it's kind of a goat or sheep, but technically, it's one of the developer's moms that made that sound. So it's kind of open to interpretation. It's like, <laughs> it's like a really dorky, like, your mom joke. Like, your mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom made the goat noise, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of goats, uh, I want to give a shout out to Raj the goat, who uh, I yeah, I saw him here. If you uh, if you didn't see Joey's appearance on on Raj's show uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that, yeah, I, I mean, who out. knows? Twenty twenty, it could have been. Oh uh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is a much harder After Effects question that I actually got directly from Victoria, who's the product manager for After Effects and. Uh, related projects. Um, what was the first Hollywood blockbuster to use After Effects? And I will say that I, uh, I'm i really happy about this answer. I actually guessed it right. But uh, to give you context and a hint, um, uh, I, I was like, I want it to be this, but that feels way too early. Oh, man, uh, I see Rob actually got it. It's Jurassic Park. And it's actually just this little bit um, where Nedry uh, has his like little hacker trap there. And he goes, ah, 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 that was done with either the first or second version of After Effects when it was still owned by Kosa uh, and then acquired by Aldis and then became, you know, an Adobe uh, product. So. Love it. Yeah. By the way, Kyle, I'm I'm attempting to fix my focus in real yeah, time. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I could just I could just stay like this. Uh, wow, how much this, how much uh, this water have I had? Oh Yikes. <laughs> there we go. Here, I'll just I'll just pop it to me for a second until you uh feel like you've got it under control there. <laughs> uh, uh okay, cool. So um, you know, I can talk for a second uh, actually about um, this thing that happened, which was uh, another pretty cool thing this year. If you missed out on this um, this year, uh, Adobe Max was totally free and totally virtual. And myself and Joey and uh, Noel and Sarah Beth, uh, some of our instructors, all, all presented there along with literally hundreds of other amazing presenters. So if you missed out on Max, you can actually still watch most of the stuff um, for free on the Max site. Uh, I would love to drop the link in the chat, but I guess that's not uh, working. So um, if you just go, I believe it's adobe.max.com or just type Adobe Max into your search bar and you'll get there. Um, but, uh, you know, especially if you've got some time coming up over the Christmas break, um, you know, check out Adobe Max. And if you didn't watch Joey's session on that, it was absolutely amazing. It's like the best, um, it, uh, especially like if you've ever struggled to explain what motion design is uh, to the people in your life, like that was such a great introduction to what motion di design is and can do. And like, if it's something you've been thinking about getting into, like kind of how you might take your first steps in there. Uh, and it was super fun too. So um, just wanted to call that out. And uh, I mean, if you want to watch me talk about like a bunch of nerdy After Effects stuff, you can do that too. But um, Joey's is super fun, and I highly recommend it if you if you missed it. So it's basically like a Family Guy episode, but uh, <laughs> After Effects. <so. laughs> that was my goal. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to keep rolling right along here, and uh, I have. Uh, I feel like this is this is kind of an old school question, but also um, anyone who's taken our Kickstart course, um, After Effects kick, Kickstart course, has a good line on this as well. Um, I'm putting this in here because it's uh, relevant to me and I made the trivia so you people can deal with it. <laughs> Founded in Kansas City, this long running motion design studio released innovative shorts like 4D softcore sweater porn back in 2001 and Brazil inspired in 2002, which both super hold up, by the way, uh, is responsible for the always reference graphics in Strange Student Fiction and created the intro for our After Effects Kickstart course. 
And yeah, I saw a couple people got it. Looks like uh, Mary and Louise looks like the first to me. Yeah. Um, MK12, who um, I think are technically still active. They posted something to their Vimeo uh, in 2019. So I'm assuming that means that they're still doing stuff. Yeah, and Ben Raditz. Ben Raditz is one of the, the yeah. co-founders of MK12, and he's the animator that did uh, the opener to After Effects Kickstart, which is amazing. And he just put out a 2020 reel, so I don't know the yeah. exact situation with him and MK12. He moved to LA, but he just put out his reel for 2020, and it's insane. Like it's, it's nuts. It's so yeah. good, no, and no one's like him. Like he, his work looks like him. It doesn't look <laughs> anybody else. He has his own. It's amazing. Like he's a true like artist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, super like very technically smart too. He did the conference mm -hmm. opener for um, a uh, Made in the Middle, which is like a design conference here in Kansas City last year. I want to say, um, and even that was just like super nuts. Uh, just this you know kind of local regional conference opener, um, and felt very much like his style too, uh, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, so while we're talking studios, that feels like a great time to talk about this. Which Vancouver-based motion design studio created the School of Motion manifesto video? Good question. Good mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, rumor has it uh, that 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 video uh, was given an award of some type. Uh, it looks like Patricia got it. It's ordinary folk. Congratulations. And you are right, uh, that actually did win some kind of award. It won a motion award just last week, right? Yes, uh, and I'm like, I'm so proud of Jorge and everybody. I mean, th th there's a huge team that worked on that, not just mm -hmm. the Ordinary Folk team, but a lot of freelancers worked on it. Um, some of our alumni worked on it. Mm -hmm. And it's just basically when that thing came out, I like almost cried because it was just like such a bucket list thing. Like, oh my God, yeah. Jorge directed this and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. And, um, you know, a lot of people, I, my, like I, I, I try to bring myself back in time to when I was learning motion design and had that come out, I would have wanted to know how the hell they made that video. <laughs> um, so stay tuned in 2021 people because that's all I'll say yeah. I'll just yeah. leave it squirrely like I like to you know it's a little bit of hype right there for you yeah we've got a lot of things that we could tease but you know I mean we've got enough to talk about and, and you guys are going to keep listening to us even if we don't tease stuff so yeah. uh, <laughs> um, all right so uh, I have one more trivia question uh, for us. And then we will be um, rolling into the, the next part of our show here. Um, but uh, uh, well, I guess we did kind of say, are there any, are there any hints about upcoming stuff that you do want to give for, you know, things next year? Sure. Um, all right, let me think. So I think overall, the theme of next year for us, uh, in terms of like the, the courses and stuff like that, um, the theme is really going to be trying to um, make courses that are more accessible to everybody. So we have mm -hmm. these, you know, gigantic courses. Our courses are not like normal online courses. They're really, really long and big and hard and there's homework and all this stuff. Um, and that's why they're so effective. <laughs> you know, like yeah. some, sometimes people, you know, like when they're in the middle of it, it's like, oh, it's painful. It's supposed to be. That's kind of yeah. the point. Um, but also, but but that format works really well for things like learn animation, learn to illustrate, learn After Effects, right? There's a million other things we want to get into and we want to have different ways of people kind of dipping their toe in the water of motion design. And there's, you know, UI and UX designers that want to learn to animate a little bit and they maybe don't want to jump right into an eight week class or something like that. So, um, so we're, there's some things that are already done, frankly, uh, <laughs> that that we will be talking about in January. Um, and then there are some other things that we're just now starting to kind of get the wheels turning on um, that I don't want to say too much about because we're still figuring right. it out. But basically, that's going to be kind of the the theme. Um, and then in addition to that, I mean, we're, we're investing a lot into making our site work better, um, being able to have a better student experience, um, you know, across the board. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of things that will just like work better next year. And there's some other things too. There's another big initiative to help our students get jobs <laughs> um, mm -hmm. that uh, there's like, 
I think our marketing team will kill me if like I start talking about it too early. So that <laughs> I'll leave it there. Um, <laughs> but and uh, yeah, I have seen a comment from from Sharon. Just uh, yeah. I thought I'd pull this since I saw it. Uh, uh, getting away from Facebook is a thing that is being uh, actively explored. Let's maybe mm -hmm. leave it at that. Yes, that that will be a thing. <laughs> that would be a thing. Um, cool. So uh, I see that our other special guest is ready here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop our last trivia question, and then we'll roll into uh, the last part of the show here. So, uh, you know, some nice recent news here. Digital artist Beeple made over $3 million, I think it was about three and a half, in a crypto art sale last weekend, including an image of this celebrity beating up coronavirus. <laughs> It's a great uh, trivia question. Yeah. And I think uh, yeah, the, the number I saw was three and a half million. Yeah. Which is. It uh, looks like Jacob. So awesome. Uh, Jacob Allen. Uh, got it. Is it Tom Hanks? Indeed. So this image or, you know, a, a, a file of this image in a little so uh, glass frame or whatever sold for $107,000 because. Because. because crypt crypto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. Uh, I kind of liked that one to end on, though, because, um, you know, seeing uh, I think that the image's actual title is Tom Hanks beating the shit out of coronavirus, mm -hmm. which is kind of a great uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of a great thing. Something we all need, I think. It is what we need at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that's that's a good note. Like, um, you know, like we said, there, there's been a lot of tough stuff this year, but, um, you know, you can have. Uh, there's still a lot of opportunities to have fun and be thankful for stuff and be thankful for all the good stuff that happened. And um, that's uh, obviously you and I have gotten a sneak peek of it. But um, the alumni holiday card uh, that we're going to be showing in a minute, I think, rides that really nicely. Um, and to talk about that, I'm going to bring in our great friend, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> Hi. TV. <laughs> What's up? Okay. <clears throat> Um, for the couple people who don't know you, the the four <laughs> people on earth who don't already know Tracy, can you just kind of give us like a quick little mini bio of who you are and what you do? Um, sure. Um, so I'm Tracy. I uh, I don't really know what to say. I guess I'm from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Big Patriots fan. If you haven't seen me <laughs> on Facebook, um, yeah. So I I kind of have been with. School of Motion since the beginning, they kind of helped me start my career. Um, I went from marketing and then completely changed and decided to animate. And that's where I am now. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. well, and not only that, but you, you've you been one of the TAs for quite a while. You've like presented at some motion design conferences <laughs> and stuff. Um, you're like the super networker too, uh, which, is, yeah. which is awesome. That's the uh, one I would use, Kyle. I mean, if, if you've yeah. ever met Tracy, you're basically, you become best friends with her like in two seconds. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and, and that's universal. Like, I mean, like I've, you know, yeah. there was a lot of Tracy fans out there. Um, but yeah, Tracy, I remember the, the first time I met you in person, I think was NAB like a few yeah. years ago. And you were like, introducing me to like the Adobe team and stuff. I was like, I was like, oh my God, you know everybody. She's like, yeah, I've been doing this six months or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> um, thank yeah, thank you. You're, I don't know, you're, you're awesome in, in many ways. And like, I know that there are, there are things, there are people that I wouldn't know if I didn't know you. <laughs> it's funny, so. Um, so uh, obviously we brought you on to to talk about this holiday card that you've been putting together. Uh, this is the yeah. fifth year of it, is that right? Yeah, the fifth year. Um, it's crazy because I did it one year and I didn't think it would run this long, but it, it just keeps going <laughs> and it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it keeps going because you keep it going uh, yeah. <laughs> and you, you remind people to uh, get on board with it and you coordinate the whole thing and you edit the whole thing together too yeah. and like i mean you're producing it um, <laughs> with uh, uh how many people did you have the first year that you did it just out of 35 was the first year and then cool. after that i think it uh consistently hit around 80 and then one year i think we broke 100 and then this year we broke 100 again nice uh, well, yeah so that's awesome 
It's gotten longer, uh, longer and longer and longer. <laughs> it does. Uh, like I said yesterday, it, it does not feel as long as it is, which I think is always uh, one of the best compliments you can give to a video <laughs> of any kind. Um, but it's it's really cool because you've got, um, you know, just anyone that has gone through school motion courses can uh, obviously is encouraged to participate in it. And so you have this huge range of um, styles and skill levels and approaches and all kinds of stuff. So it's this great just like, you know, compilation of, of all this uh, talent and different ideas and stuff. And it's really super fun. Yeah. No, I, I feel like that's the fun part about it because like. I'm like, I leave it open to use whatever um, software you want, any plugins you want and whatever. But the other thing I like about it is because, and this was, this started kind of because I was maybe a little bit selfish and I wanted to learn from and reverse people's projects. Uh -huh. <laughs> I actually, when I took your beta course, Joey, I think I was like, can you have the projects available for us to download? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, so it was kind of like, Oh, I'd love to see how they did that because so many people are so talented and um, do some really, really cool stuff. So it was an added bonus. So Yeah, and that's, that's a really important point is that all the project files um, are included uh, on a link that you can download. So you can just pick through the, you know, 100 plus uh, <laughs> After Effects and Cinema and who knows what else project files that people have included, yeah. uh, which is really cool. So, um, But yeah, so just like, with that said, like, just want to emphasize that they are only for learning purposes. So like people can right. download them right, 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 right. But I don't obviously like charge client for the yeah. <laughs> yeah. One, one thing I wanted to say too real quick, Kyle, is just that the, the thing I love so much about the alumni card, it's kind of like baked into school of motions ethos, you know, like mm -hmm. when, when I was coming up um, and, and I'm sure you too, Kyle, like th it was a lot harder to learn this stuff and, and it was a lot harder to find ways of like interacting yeah. with artists yeah. <laughs> and some of the ways that there that did exist were kind of intimidating because mm -hmm. um it, you know just sort of i guess like the force of gravity attracted so many amazing artists that you almost felt like you didn't belong and you know school of motion from the beginning has always been about like the person just starting uh, and now, you know, as we've grown, we also have people who are freelancing at Buck and working at Ordinary Folk and places like that. Yeah. All of them work on this alumni card. There's like yeah. such an insane range of levels, like people who just learned After Effects probably three months ago. Yeah. And they're doing their first animation. And then right after that, you'll see someone who's clearly like been doing this for a decade or something. Yeah. Um, and it's just I love I love that mix. And I love that there's no. Um, you know, we try really hard to just like make it as open to everyone as possible, yeah. um, like in everything we do. And I think this is, you know, that's why I, I, I love you so much, Tracy, because you're, <laughs> that's sort of just how you are. Like, you're just like nice to everyone and you bring everyone together. And this alumni card is just like the perfect kind of digital representation of that. And if it was available as crypto art, I would, uh, I would bid on it. Well, um, <laughs> one can hope because that three and a yeah. half million would be nice. But yeah. <laughs> I feel like figuring out how to share those profits would be uh, logistically challenging. That's yeah. true. Cut it up by like 130, it would be a little yeah. <laughs> I mean, you should get at least half, I would say. Well, if That's you fair. insist, I'm not going to yeah. argue. I do, I do insist. <laughs> Um, okay, so just to kind of uh, give some expectations here, so we are going to play the card, and then we'll probably chat for you know just a minute or two afterwards, and then we will do the giveaway. Um, we'll uh, be drawing from uh, those of you that that entered the uh, drawing. Uh, just in case you're coming in late, um, we do have the link in the video description, so you can still enter for the Puget uh, giveaway. Um, it's a twelve hundred dollar voucher to Puget Systems towards uh, you know whatever you are going to purchase there, and um, just to be clear, you do need to check yes on the question about that on the sign up form. Um, so obviously you should be watching the card, but if you haven't signed up yet, go do that real fast. Um, I'm going to take a second here and pull the card in as a, a source, which uh, since I was doing the slides, I need to like rewire things just a little bit here. Yeah, well, but, I'll take the opportunity to um, to kiss Puget's ass a little bit because they really <laughs> are they really are like some of my favorite people. And if you haven't seen it, there's a video on our YouTube channel that we did a couple years ago. Now I can't even remember, but uh, we we went to Puget's headquarters uh, in Seattle. We built the ultimate After Effects machine with them, and it's really great to see how they think. Um, they're they're very different than a lot of PC builders, and they really actually care about artists and 
they kind of go to these insane levels to customize mm -hmm. things just for us. Um, so check that out if you're curious about them. They're an amazing company. Um, and along with all of the sponsors this year for the 12 Days of MoGraph, mm -hmm. they've been very generous. Oh, awesome. before you show the card, can I just say something real quick? Please do, yeah. So this year, um, if you've seen like the other cards, um, they're a little, this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, I got a bunch of TAs and Joey actually submitted a piece finally. Only took five years. But... <laughs> Honestly, I think Joey's bit is worth the wait. <laughs> yeah, I know. It definitely is. <laughs> um, so it, it was, I just want to thank everyone who um, participated in it and like um, took the time and obviously with the crazy year, like, um, made the effort to be a part of it. And for the past five years, the same thing. So hopefully we have another five years. <laughs> well, Tracy, uh, again, obviously we're about to watch it here, but thank you for organizing this and, and making it a thing because uh, it's really cool. And while I haven't uh, been able to pers participate every single year, uh, I've always loved watching it and just seeing like that big variety of um, different talent on display. It's super cool. So. Yeah, there are a couple of people that I have noticed um, that have been a part of it for every or all five years. Just it's a handful, not that many anymore, but a few, yeah, <laughs> which is exciting. But cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and roll this thing, and uh, yeah, then we'll do the giveaway after that. So let me pull this up, and I'm going to have to mute each of us. <laughs> Hang on, mute, mute, mute. about 2020 was normal except for me as you can see i'm doing just fine here are some ways school of motion alumni made it through the weirdest year we've ever seen that's funny i never oh. got your list they must have fallen out of sleigh <laughs> <laughs>
your list. It must have fallen out of sleigh. <laughs> 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 We're all muted. Hang on. 
There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Can we give some love to Sono Sanctus? Yeah. For, uh, for helping out on the sound again. Yeah. I, so Tracy, where did all the, the various like music and sound effects come from? So uh, Wes and Jake, um, they did the intros and outros. I just kind of used the sound stripe to roughly lay it down. I obviously, when he sent me that uh, Drunk Santa uh, song, it was a win. Uh, <laughs> very, very 2020 appropriate too, I think. Awesome. <laughs> so I did that a few times, <laughs> but, <laughs> or at least the awesome. the part. Well, thank you, Wes and Jake. Thank you very much for helping out again. Yeah. yeah no, Thanks to yeah. everyone who was part of that. And um, one thing that I think was really cool. Uh, first of all, I love how many like babies and marriages were uh, in there. Um, but I was watching uh, the chat as this was going, and um, and I, I had noticed that I was doing this too. I'm recognizing certain people's piece without, you know, having to cross reference in the credits, like uh -huh. being able to pull out certain people's styles and people in there were like, Hey, great job. Cause they could tell who did yeah. what, which is really <laughs> awesome. I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So one, one question, Tracy, about, uh, just the number of people, do you know off the top of your head, how many alumni submitted? I do. So it was 10 um, TAs and then you. So that's 11 from School of Motion and 128 um, submissions from alumni. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, sorry. No, 118, 128 total. Sorry. 180. Love, it. <laughs> Love it. And I did use, I, I showed Kyle right away because Kyle uh, has used Character Animator before, but I yeah. used Character Animator <laughs> to make the creepy Joey puppet. <laughs> It's really fun, actually. Like, I kind of, yeah. kind of want to dive into it more. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, using it, using it for for a human face, like <clears throat> it, it takes you so yeah. deep into the uncanny valley that it just, like, you come back yeah. out the other side, and it That's what absolutely I was going works. For. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the point. It's awesome. But the dumpster fire was definitely like a very nice touch. That's, that's <laughs> the year, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. that was oh. Cool. Um, well, that was great. And uh, Tracy, uh, it, unless you want me to not say this, uh, well, I'm going to say it anyway, because I have said to you, um, <laughs> it sounds like uh, you just made it public. So uh, we'll obviously be pushing that link out um, today, too. So if you want to watch it again, obviously, if you participated, share it out to everybody and, you know, let them let them come check out your work and yeah. uh, all the project files will be available to check out, too. So mm -hmm. you got something to do over Christmas break. <laughs> yeah, and definitely um, share it out. And if you have your um your sections, uh, thanks for like holding off, but like now share away. I feel free, yeah. to, like tag all of us. I feel like it'll be. Yeah. So <laughs> there's my marketing totally. background coming into play. <laughs> 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 uh, cool. Okay. Well, there's only one thing left that we need to do today, which is do this final giveaway. And uh, I decided that Tracy is going to do this one. And I think it's very fitting. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to drop this in uh, our private chat here on StreamYard, and then Tracy, you can announce who the winner is. Yay. She is wearing a Santa hat, so I mean, it is you know appropriate. Yeah. She, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do we need to do a drum uh, drum roll? Or I mean, we can. Or yeah. <laughs> this one's super exciting because I know who this is, and he's um we go way back. So. Mm -hmm. Dana Albert, you won! Yeah. Woo! Dana! Way to go! I was, I was happy to see that myself. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That's exciting. Awesome. Awesome. Well, yeah, you're going to enjoy working with uh, with Puget. They're pretty, they're pretty amazing. Yeah. You get a beast. <laughs> EJ, I think EJ just got, uh, and Ryan Summers, they just got Puget Machines. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a whole other thing. That's a different live stream. EJ uh, is no longer in Club Mac. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. If I, I don't mean, know that. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother issue. Yeah. Awesome. Congrats, Dana. Yeah, Dana, Dana's a good guy, and I'm I'm happy. I know he'll put it to good use too. So, oh yeah. Um, cool. Well, uh, I don't know, uh, Joey. You have any uh, like parting words of wisdom for us? Words of wisdom. That's not really my brand. Uh, <laughs> That's fair. I'll say this. I will say this to everybody. So there's like, it looks like there's close to 300 people watching this live right now, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Um, to anyone who watches this at any point in time and sees this, I, I want you to know the the School of Motion community is um, really one of a kind. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm part of other online schools. Like I actually joined an online guitar school this uh this year which is amazing they're called riff hard i'll give them a plug they're amazing um <laughs> but the 
you don't see stuff like you just saw at other places. Um, you know, having that many alumni take time out of their busy freelance, full time, whatever schedules um, to, to make something like that every year. And Tracy to do this, you know, she, she has two small children, by the way, <laughs> two very cute small children. Um, it's really, really special. It's like, it's easily the most special part about all of this for me has been watching the community kind of pull together, especially this year. You know, I mean, I remember in March we did a sort of like a live stream town mm -hmm. hall when everyone was really freaking out, <laughs> you know, myself included. Um, and this community, it's pretty amazing. I just saw in our alumni group, um, and I think he tweeted about it too, but Liam Clisham, who's yeah. one of our alumni, he's been a TA before, he's, he's uh, part of um, uh, Camp MoGraph team that puts yeah. that on. And he's going to try and get somebody a gig every week in 2021. Oh, wow. just, yeah, it's just because that's the kind of thing that I see all the time in our community. And, and so I just want to say thank you to anyone yeah. who is even a tiny part of it. If you've ever watched a tutorial or listened to a podcast or taken a class, thank you. Seriously, I hope I hope next year is a lot easier for everybody, <laughs> uh, especially you, the person that's watching. Um, and thank you again. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, thank you both for being here today. Thanks to all of you for watching. Um, congrats again to Dana. Congrats to uh, the people who got t-shirts. We'll be in touch. Uh, <laughs> and have a happy and safe holiday and a happy and safe new year. And we'll see you all in 2021. Boot and rally. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>